Yes, and a very good day to you. And a very, very fresh and brisk day it is indeed. <laughs> Even the cameramen have got their hands in their pockets today. I don't often see that. I want to say to you that Jesus is Lord. That's all I want to say. You know, when you acknowledge him with your mouth, it gives you freedom, power, Oh, it makes me cry many a time. When I mention his name, I get choked up. Why? Because he's done so much for me. He's liberated me. He set me free. I once was lost, but now I'm found. That's what John Newton said when he wrote the, the hymn Amazing Grace. If we go to Acts, the book of Acts chapter 3, and just one verse, verse 16. And his name, there it is. Through faith in his name, there it is again, has made this man strong. Remember the lame man at the, at the gate, beautiful? That's right, just outside the temple, the old city of Jerusalem. He'd been there, he was lame from birth. And uh, Peter and John were going up to the temple to pray. And he shouted out, he wanted arms, he wanted money, he wanted food. And what did they say? Silver and gold have we none. But such as we have, we give unto you. In the name, there it is, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he got straight up and he walked. And the people wanted to worship Peter and John, thinking that they were gods. They said, no, 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 no. It's the name that healed this man, not us. You know, I was privileged many, many years ago to go to Ulundi, and to Nongoma, to go to Zululand proper, to go and meet with the king of the Zulus. His name was uh, Goodwell Zueletini. He has since died, but he was very gracious to us. He was very kind to us when we, he gave us an audience, and we went to greet him, because we have a special love for this country. And he is a monarch, he's not a chief. There are many chiefs in, in Africa, but he is a king. A direct descendant from Shaka Zulu, the first king of the Zulus. There are over nine million subjects at the moment. Now, when we were driving up, I went with my foreman on the farm, Simeon Bengu, he is illiterate, he can't read or write, and I'm semi-literate, <laughs> so we made a good pair. Now, when we drew near to the palace, I started getting a bit nervous because the reality of meeting this man was now dawning on me. And when we got out of our pickup, our farm pickup, parked outside the palace, at that time he had six palaces. This was just one of them. And he had a queen in each palace. And he would move from palace to palace. There were men outside. These were his soldiers, and some of them were his elders. They had their fighting sticks, and they were shouting, Bayetinkos! Bayetinkos! We salute you, king! Where no one drove, for you are the elephant. By the way, for people overseas, it's the elephant that's the king of the jungle, not the lion. Wena Inkos! And I really got nervous. And as I was walking in to the palace, and I was ushered in by obviously his assistants, all of us, I said, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to handle this. And the Lord reminded me, and this is not to be disrespectful to the king of the Zulus. The Lord reminded me, you today are re representing the king of all kings. In fact, his king as well, King Jesus Hallelujah. Go out today and don't be ashamed to speak about that name. Goodbye.